we're still moving really fast and the atmosphere is just dense enough that we're feeling feeling the most pressure but hopefully we're going to start feeling a little bit less heat now looks like we got more views of each of the flaps on the ship as it's making its way back down to earth and we did pass through peak heating and still got really good views throughout that whole period typically during the highest uh heat on the vehicle we we tend to build up a lot of plasma and that's typically when we would uh lose you know connection um, or views of the vehicle but again with starlink we were able to get some live views throughout the that entire process there And we're coming up. We'll start here in a couple more milestones in about four minutes or so uh, when we start getting down to like the transonic, the subsonic, when we're, we're starting to move closer to and beneath the speed of sound. And I mean, we're, we're getting live views. We're getting live data. We've got a couple additional tests on this one today where we, we left off some missing tiles again to to test some additional backup layers. Uh, we also have, I don't know if we can still quite see them in this view, but you may have noticed we had some kind of silvery looking tiles on, on Starship as well. And those were pretty much standard tiles, but they were wrapped in aluminum. And it was a pretty simplistic, uh, straightforward one where aluminum starts to melt at roughly the same temperature where steel starts to lose its strength, not necessarily melt. Um, and so if we if we see stuff melting, we, we know we know what our steel is going to be exposed to. But um, yeah, 59 minutes since launch should be coming up on on transonic and everything just about three minutes. Now the views here, we have coverage of all four flaps. We can see, uh, or so for those that perhaps didn't catch a glimpse of the vehicle before liftoff, there are two flaps at the forward end and two flaps at the aft end. The larger camera view that is there on the right-hand side of your screen, that is a view of one of the aft end or the bottom end flaps. We can start to see some heat buildup and peeking through on one of the flaps there in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Once again, Starship now at T plus one hour and nine seconds into its flight today, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, currently about 45 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, now 44. We are targeting a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean, uh, about, you know, oh, northwest-ish of Australia. And we are attempting to, as we did on Flight 4, make a, uh, perform a flip maneuver as well as Starship a... Starship is at maximum entry dynamic pressure, remains on a good trajectory. All right, so that is great news there. Um, like Dan said earlier, this is basically Max Q Part Two. So this is the greatest amount of, uh, of aerodynamic loads that the vehicle will experience during its flight. It's coming back through the Earth's atmosphere. You know, it was uh, above the Earth's atmosphere in space where there was no friction. We can obviously see uh, heat as a you know evidence of that friction buildup. Uh, the atmosphere is actually helping to slow the vehicle down. If you're watching the telemetry in the bottom right-hand side, right-hand corner of your screen, you can see that speed decelerating rapidly. Now, the four flaps on the ship help steer the vehicle, and one of the main objectives for the ship today is to demonstrate controlled re-entry uh, during this phase of flight, this re-entry phase. Yeah, and we have six engines on ship, but we only need three of them, the three sea level engines. Uh, we will have that flip maneuver happen very close to touching down for splashdown. We'll do that flip maneuver, ignite those engines, slow the vehicle down immediately, and then hopefully have a, what we call a soft splash. 
what we call a soft splashdown yeah. um, in the water. <laughs> it's probably going to feel a little bit harder uh, on yeah. the top of the surface of the water, but and, it'll look pretty gentle. <laughs> yeah, and like we said earlier, we hope to have some more views, even of that phase of the flight. So fingers crossed that we can uh, that we we can bring those to you. Um, we are uh, hoping to splash down softer than we did last time on flight four. Um, right now, Starship continuing to make its descent back to Starship planet is Earth. Mark two remains on a good trajectory. All right, great news there. That tells us that the vehicle is traveling twice more than, or is traveling twice the speed of sound. So we will then the next call out that we'll hear is that it is, uh, you know, traveling about the speed of sound, and then we will hear a call out that it is. That will be the call out that it, it is transonic, and then we will hear another call out saying that it is subsonic, meaning going slower than the speed of sound. Starship is transonic. There it is. So at this. So at this point in time, uh, we say transonic because certain parts of the vehicle, like the flap that you see on your screen, uh, might be experiencing airflow faster than the speed of sound, <laughs> while other parts of the ship may be experiencing airflow. Starship is in the subsonic belly flop. All right, so now the entire vehicle is traveling slower than the speed of sound, so <laughs> subsonic. The crowd here at Mission Control Hawthorne also getting excited, just like us. We're awaiting uh, a water landing. We are going to reignite the three engines to perform that flip maneuver. And we're basically uh, about a minute and a half, wow, away from the landing flip. <laughs> Yeah, the, the crowd's getting excited here as we get closer and closer to splashdown. Again, just about a minute away from the expected splashdown. So we should see a lot happening um, coming up here shortly. We're currently having a view of one of the flaps, um, and it is a little bit dark on your screen, but hopefully we'll get some good views of the ship as it makes that flip maneuver and uh, touchdown for splashdown. Yeah. The, uh... Yeah, guys, we, we, saw that, we saw that speed drop like a rock, so we're basically, we're doing a belly flip right now, or a belly flop right now. That's what's kind of, if you saw the high altitude campaign, that's the unique thing about how Starship comes back, so... We've bled off pretty much all of the speed we're going to. We're essentially at terminal velocity. Starship is at five uh, kilometers altitude. Then, remains on target. Five, five to go. Coming up soon. Landing burn. Two kilometers away. Starship is on target. Approaching landing burn startup. So keep an eye on the bottom right hand side of your screen as well. That will be the indicator when the Raptor engines ignite if we are unable to see that illumination ourselves. Landing burn startup. <laughs> we're going to be able to get a, a ton of extra video of the heat shield, but we hit the target. We hit the target. Yeah. I mean, you know we hit the target because we had these buoys placed in a pretty specific spot, so wow. Um, what a day. 
feel like that's all. I, that's, that's what I get to say. What a day. Um, I mean, every everything started off today with with that launch. Uh, we were able to lift off towards the end of our window, 7:25 a.m. Central Time. Uh, 33 out of 33 Raptors in the way uphill. Successful hot stage. Booster came back. We watched it come down right behind us. Watched it get caught, and that like that broke my brain for a while. Um, I'm really happy we had coast for a bit, but that's. First ever booster catch, major step on the way to rapid reusability. And ship just gave us one heck of a show, making it through a controlled re-entry this time. Flaps intact, made it down to the water. Uh, hey, starships were meant to fly, and it sure as hell flew today.